What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, gang? Gang, what's good, guys? I told y'all I was coming back. I forgot to tell you guys. Y'all know Saturn and Pluto goes direct on on today, guys. On the 18th. What is the damn date? Shit. I think I'm looking at September calendar. Lord have mercy. Help me. Well, anyways, um, Pluto and um, Saturn goes to Rick on the 18th. I've already been feeling the shifts. Me personally, it feels good. Um, I feel happy. I feel so much peace. I feel inspired. I feel loved. You know what I'm saying? Just by loving me. Um, man, I feel justice. Justice is definitely in the air, guys. Um, a lot of people are getting there just due. A lot of the divine beings that have been persecuted, that have been lied on, that has been, um, motherfuckers have just been Coming up against the divine beings. Um, like I said, I feel justice. I feel peace. I feel happiness. I feel people's burdens being lifted. Um, I feel abundance. I feel prosperity, wealth. I feel new blessings, guys, coming in. I just feel it's just a big ray of sun. And you know, with the sun, the sun brings everything. Shout out to Ra. I love you. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, Ra. Ra rises every day. For real, for real. Anyway, guys, I just wanted you guys to know that. So you guys be mindful. You still need to protect your energy. Because for those are the ones that are getting um, karma. You know, they're going to be trying to project their energy onto you guys. So definitely protect your energy. You know, I always tell you guys to protect your energy. It's about you guys staying grounded at this time as well. Make sure you're grounded and centered and balanced, guys. Trust your intuition. Use your discernment. It is also Mercury retrograde. People are coming back from your past. I mean, from your past, past. All the way up to yesterday. Yesterday is your fucking past. You get what I'm saying? Um, just release, guys. You should have did that on the new moon, because it's just straight, it's just straight sunshine, bro. Straight happiness. And I'm happy for you guys, those of you who are being, you know what I'm saying, being vindicated. You know, people lying on you and shit. People damn trying to block your blessings. Oh, God. People just, man, the people just come up, came up against the divine beings, bro. It's over for them. That's, that's all I'm going to say. And you know what I'm saying? It can't be, oh, I didn't know this is that and the third. Yes, you did. You knew that. You knew this. these divine beings want to be touched, but you kept on doing shit. And it's karma motherfucking season. It don't matter who the fuck. Whoever damn fuck with the divine beings, damn it. Is going to fuck down. Because you were not supposed to touch. No divine beings. Try to steal from them. Block them in any way, form, or fashion. And there's been a lot of that going on. I've been hearing different um, different little um, comments. Of course, of course, some of my subbies been letting me know what's been going on in their world. Not just that. Some other shit that I'm not going to discuss. Because it was between me and my subbies, but they, you know what I'm saying, put me on game. Like I told them, it's all good. It's all good. At the end of the day, the divine beings, y'all good, baby. Just protect yourself and stay grounded, okay? Make sure you are staying grounded. Now, my grandbaby, she like to do her little readings. So I'm going to read the cards that she had mixed in here. The angel cards. <laughs> I'll read the angel cards definitely she had three oh god she got four angel cards in here on top of these cards right here it may be a significance so these are the cards that I am definitely about to read for you guys 
right here. Wait a minute. Hold on, punk. <sighs> Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine on deck. Divine Feminine on deck. And it has DM Suicide. Divine Masculine. So there is a masculine that is thinking about committing suicide, guys. I don't know how that got in there. That was just some old scrap paper. Um, like I said, I'm going to read these that my grandbaby daggone had mixed in and turned over. So, Ancestor Spirit, guys, angels and archangels, you are welcome into this reading. Divine of the highest white light, I ask that you do come in and protect me, my family, and my home. While I open up in our channel, all of these energies. Archangel Michael, I ask that you please come through. Keep me and my family in my home as well as my beautiful collective away from danger, evil, and harm, please. Archangel Raphael, I ask that you please come in. And those who need healing, please do allow them, give them all the healing that they need, want, and truly desire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that sun done came out. That's what I'm talking about. I was just saying thank you, Ra, because it was raining like crazy here. And I just said thank you, Ra, and the sun came out. Have y'all ever paid attention to y'all emotions and the weather? Y'all need to pay attention to that. Just like I was thinking, Ra, look how Ra came out. You know what I'm saying? He's always out. They always trying to block the damn sun. I'm talking about always trying to block the sun. They going the fuck down too with all that damn top shit. Shit, all these motherfucking lies they done told throughout over motherfucking damn 400 damn years. Shit. Don't get me damn started. Better quit playing with the divine man. Better first and quit playing with these damn ancestors. Now, these ancestors damn sure ain't playing. I told y'all a long time ago, damn go. These ancestors just pissed the fuck off in every motherfucking body that did anything wrong that told any motherfucking lies off the motherfucking rip. Man. Motherfuckers ain't playing no more. That's just period. The divine beings, you shouldn't have fucked with them. And that's just what it is. Motherfuckers just seeing motherfucking green right now. All right, let's get this. Okay, my grandbaby said, I mean, these are the cards. It said a personal issue. It reaches resolution. Adjustments are required. Conclusions are within reach. That's in the reverse. Communication is the key. And a fiery climax approaches. So we have Cancer. We have Cancer, Aries, Gemini. Cancer, Aries, Gemini, and Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, and Aries right here. So you guys may know these people in your life. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? It could be some. Got that copycat energy out here. Definitely got that copycat energy out here. Y'all know that Gemini, you know what I'm saying? That twin energy. But if you look at it closely, you'll see the damn difference. For real, for real. One is behind somebody back trying to be them operating in the fucking shadow. That's what I see. Definitely see somebody operating in the shadow. Got this damn cancer right here. Got this blue. That blue is communication. So there may be a cancer. They may want to communicate with you guys. There may be a cancer. They may that may want to communicate with you guys. They are definitely full of emotions. You got this Pisces right here. It's completely dark. Pisces needs to um. There are some adjustment adjustments that are definitely about to be needed and required. So somebody need to make some adjustments in their life. There may be a Pisces. You guys know. Or may not know, but there's a Pisces who need to, uh, they need to change their life around because they've been operating out of that shadow side. It's so damn dark on this picture. 
Um, also, this Pisces is in reverse. Conclusions are within reach. So, this adjustments are required and conclusions are within reach in the reverse. There's a Pisces that um, is not looking good for a Pisces at this time. It's definitely not looking good for a Pisces. Um, but this Gemini communication is the damn key. Once again, there may be a Gemini, but I'm going to tell y'all something. This copycat energy right here, this person is being exposed. This person may want to damn communicate with you because they done been exposed. They was all the way in their fucking shadow side. I'm talking about this person was behind you. So there's a Gemini, y'all, that's been copying the fuck out of you. A Cancer Pisces Gemini has um been copying you guys. Just to let you guys know. Know that. Um... We got this Aries right here. Y'all know Aries is the head. You know what I'm saying? It's about a big ass head. So there's a fiery climax. So there's an Aries that may want to take action, guys. There's an Aries that may want to take action. But as far as with this communication, this um, Pisces, this Cancer, and this Gemini. Mm, 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 mm. They may, they may want to communicate with you guys. But as far as this Pisces, it's just not looking good for this Pisces at all. Whatever they was trying to do, mm -mm, it's not going to happen. What, if y'all know a Pisces in y'all damn life was trying to do fucking something, it's not looking good for this person. Shit, this damn Cancer. I mean, this Gemini right here. That was all in their motherfucking shadow side. And they ain't shadow self. It ain't looking good for that person either. Because that person is being fucking exposed. They are definitely being exposed at this time. This is somebody who wanted to fucking copy you. This damn copycat energy out here. It could be any one of these signs. But we definitely got a copycat energy out here. And it's not looking good for these damn people. I'm serious. It's not. Shit. There is a cancer. Um, a personal issue reaches its resolution. So there is a cancer. You know what I'm saying? That um, if you guys are a cancer, put it that way. Um, this person, a resolution gonna be reached. So whatever problem this cancer was going through. The problem is going to be solved. However, like I said, this Pisces um, is is not looking good for this Pisces. This Gemini right here that's in this shadow fucking side. It ain't looking good for that person either. Because that person is being exposed for being a copycat, for being envious, for being fucking jealous. And there's an Aries that wants to take action. That's just what it is. I'm an intuitive reader. I know what I see. I know what I feel. I know what I know. But you can switch those signs around. Okay, guys? You guys can switch those signs around. So somebody going to reach a personal resolution with a cancer. This, this damn Gemini, like this copycat energy, it ain't even got to be a fucking Gemini. You know what I'm saying? It could be you guys a sign. It might be something that person have in their fucking chart. You know what I'm saying? But this person, it's it's a dub, bro. That copycat energy. I've been picking it up for a while. We have Aurora, you, Aurora, Isaiah, Celeste, and Vanessa. And these are the angel cards. And like I said, I am going to read them. It says, you are flying high right now which may threaten others. But don't be seen because others will soon become inspired by your example. Exactly. Then I tell you guys are flying high right now, bro. And there's a lot of people that might get fucking angry. Like it said, oh, well, they're telling you, don't you be seen for no damn body. You keep moving. You keep moving because they eventually going to be inspired by you. Believe it. Continue to trust your intuition. Fly high. Don't worry about nobody but your damn self. Keep going. Keep going. I love that. Isaiah says, It's a good time to give birth to new ideas, 
and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So you have Isaiah. The angel Isaiah is watching over you guys. You guys are about to dag on. When I tell you your whole life is about to change, there are about to be new ideas. You're about to give birth to new ideas. And Isaiah is saying he's watching over you. He's guiding you, protecting you during these daggone changes. So get ready, guys. Keep going. Keep going, man. You have ascended. Oh, well, keep going. Don't look down. Don't look down. And don't worry about nobody else but yourself. If they get mad, oh, well, that's on them. You don't descend for nobody like it said. You may threaten others because you flying so motherfucking high right now. Oh, well, creating new ideas, birthing new ideas. You guys are being guided, protected, and watched over at this time. You got Aurora, Isaiah, Celeste says, A happy move to a new home or a place of employment. Is in the works. This movement will usher in positive energy. Yes. Thank you, grandbaby. Thank you, grandbaby. Thank you. Mm, shout out to my grandbaby. I'm telling you, my baby. Oh, my gosh, man. These are some banging cars, bruh. Vanessa says, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? And which way takes me away from it? Ask yourself that question. Somebody need to ask yourself that damn question. Which way you going to decide? Which way you going to go? I know where I'm going. Yeah. Y'all are sending it so high. Y'all are making people angry right now. And y'all keep flying high, baby. You keep flying. You keep flying. You keep going. I swear my grandbaby got some good ass motherfucking cars. Thank you. And with those daggone signs... Those may be some of the ones that's mad as hell. That Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, and Aries. They are significant to this right here. Oh, well. Y'all keep flying high, bro. Y'all keep fucking going, man. These are some beautiful cars my grandbaby picked out. Shout out to my motherfucking grandbaby. That's what I'm talking about. If y'all need to rewind it, because these are some beautiful, powerful ass fucking messages on this deck, these angel cards, guys. Yes, beautiful. Intuition, heart chakra, green and purple. Intuition and heart chakra. All day, every day. I love it. Don't worry about no damn body else, guys. Y'all keep on ascending, man. Y'all birthing this new idea. And I told y'all in the last video, I see somebody about to get a brand new home. Daggone new employment on your job. I mean, you about to become a motherfucking boss, bro. You about to move into a brand new fucking house. A brand new house. It's gonna bring so much positive energy. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. I felt that shit, bro. This, this beautiful shit. I can leave it on that right there. What we got right here? Just breathe, guys. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Y'all in y'all damn bubble shit. Breathe now. Everything is all right. Relax, guys. Everything is all right. My grandbaby, I got to give my baby a big old hug and a big old kiss because she picked some dope-ass cards. Shout out to my motherfucking grandchild for real. That's why I said I wasn't even going to damn put them back or nothing. They, My ancestors and the divine told me to take them cards, leave them as they are, and just pull them out when you turn on the camera and read them. That is beautiful. I told y'all, man, it's been a daggone shift. Pluto and Saturn is here. Pluto and Saturn on the 18th, bro. We are already feeling that damn energy. Shit, that copycat energy. Uh-uh, it's no more. Motherfuckers on this. That person are being fucking exposed. They done being found out. It's being jealous and envious as hell. There's Aries that want to take action. And there's a damn um, Pisces. It's not looking good for that damn Pisces at all. And as far as that cancer, uh, personal resolution will be reached and resolved. 
And like I said, those signs may be very important to you guys' life. You may have it in your chart. These may be some of the signs that some, these may be some of the signs that the other people have in their damn chart. This daggone, that's going to be angry at your ass for daggone ascending. Oh, well, eventually they'll be inspired by you. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. You guys are birthing new damn ideas and situations in your life. New ideas and new situations. And you are definitely being watched over at this time. You are being guided, protected, watched over during these daggone times. You better believe it. A happy, it said a happy more. It said a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will, uh, will usher in positive energy to make your decision. So somebody going to have a decision to make when it comes to this move, when it comes to this employment. But some of us is about to dag on move for our employment, for real, for real. Brand new houses and every damn thing. I say, I say, I say. Yes, man. My grandbaby did that. Damn, she did that. So, guys, that's, that's a message for you guys. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know exactly who it is. Trust your damn intuition and use your discernment. You'll know if this message is for you or not. What you been asking? Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. Ascending. Releasing the old. Going with the damn new. It's time to go, bruh. It's time to fucking go. Yes, it is. It's time to go. Where you going to your motherfucking milk and honey, baby? For real, for real. Somebody may want to mend some, mend some damn things with you guys. TikTok. TikTok. See, somebody, it looks like somebody's trying to rush in to mend things with you. But time is up. Because y'all about to go. Y'all about to go. This is divine timing as well in your life. Wow, this is beautiful. Anything else, spirit? This is beautiful. Yeah, it's time to go. Leaving that old shit behind, bro. It's newness. Newness all over the fucking board, bro, for you guys. Newness for you guys. And I, well, shit, for myself, too. Hell, I'm claiming this damn reading my damn self. I receive it, for real. I hear new relationships as well, guys. New money, new wine, new bottle. New wine, new bottle. I hear new wine, new bottle. What y'all know about that? New wine, new bottle. Shit, everything is made new. A fresh, new positive energy. I feel that positive energy, too. Like I told y'all, I just feel that sun. It's just the sun. You know, the sun brings so much. So much beautiful things, guys. So many beautiful things. So many beautiful blessings that we've been waiting for. I said it's karma fucking season. Don't worry about no motherfucking body else. Some of you guys. TikTok. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Somebody's stuck because you're going into a whole brand new life. And it's going to be so motherfucking peaceful. Damn. This shit is beautiful. So fucking peaceful, bruh. So fucking peaceful. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. That's what it is. That's what it is. So let me get my damn other cards. Damn, I thought I had all my cards right here with me. Damn, I got so excited to read them damn cards. <laughs> oh, man. I was so excited. Where are my cards? Yes, man. Got to bring us a positive damn message, man, with this newness. With this new, new. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just hitting this damn table. Come on, cards. Come on, come on, come on. I don't even know if we even need the damn. I'm talking about get anything to that. Yeah. You guys got renewal and you got sovereign. Hot damn. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. It's on and popping. It's divine order. It's divine timing, baby. 
divine time and TikTok. Y'all about to go. On. We are about to go on a brand new life. You got renew, sovereign, renewal, rhythm, healing, and rest. You guys need to make sure you're getting plenty of rest, guys. Make sure you are, renew re you are renewing your energy and your body every day. This young lady has a pendulum in her hand. Look at that pendulum right there. Y'all see that pendulum? Renewal. Renewing your strength. Renewing your power. Renewing your energy. Knowing who to trust. Sovereign. Doing damn things by your motherfucking self, bro. And doing the damn thing. Ascension, transformation, visual, visualization, and sacred. Yes, baby. Yes. I'm so, this is beautiful, bro. This is beautiful, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always want to dag on them damn toxic-ass videos and shit. I don't care too much for it, but if Spirit bring it to my attention, then, of course, I'm going to give it to you guys. You know what I'm saying? I got to give you what Spirit put out. And, of course, Spirit put it on my grandbaby to pick them motherfucking cards, as well as the benevolent ancestors. You got loving relationships. You guys about to have loving, honest relationships that's filled with respect and trust. People that's going to love you and you love them. And you got peace from Quran. Trusting your intuition. That fucking love, man. This is so beautiful, guys. This is so freaking beautiful. Y'all don't got to go into a whole new ship. A whole new ship. Thank you for this daggone positive energy. Brand new fucking life, bruh. And it's going to be so peaceful. You got two peaceful cars. Mm, this is beautiful. Somebody's at a fork in the road. Some of you guys may be at a fork in the damn road. Then again, it may be somebody else at a fork in the road trying to decide either way it go. You guys, you guys, you, you know why you could probably be at a fork in the road? I'm going to tell you why. Because you're going to be like, oh my God, my life? My life? Hell yeah. Brand new life. Full of nothing but blessings and peace, bruh. That's what some of y'all can be at a fork in the road. I see that shit right now. Some of y'all, that's what y'all can be in the damn fork in the road. I can be like, is this real life? <laughs> some of you guys are going to be like, is this real life? And we got two ascensions card. Then to say you flying high, this say ascension, transformation, visual, visualization, sacred, doing the damn thing, sovereign. Mm, 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 mm. Renewing your strength, healing, rest. Get plenty of rest, guys. Get plenty of rest. Mm, 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 mm. That's beautiful. Going with the rhythm, the flow, a divine time and divine order. Love and peaceful relationship. It's time to go to your milk and honey, guys. It's time to go to your milk and honey. Somebody may want to. They're going to mend things with you, but it's divine time and it's too late. Y'all got a decision to make. Do you want your new life to stick with the old? You want your new life where it's peace and joy? Or you want to go back to the motherfucking bullshit? It's on you. It's on you. The choice is yours. But a lot of you guys going to be at the fork in the road. Because y'all going to be like, my life? Is this my life? Yes. 28.44 on the clock when I said that. Yes, this is what you guys are getting while everybody else is going through their fucking karma. That's just what it is. What else, dude? Yeah, codependency. Engagement. You got codependency. Engagement right here. Going back to that codependency issue. Somebody needs to fucking heal. With this renewal, it's called dependency. Somebody needs, somebody has fucking addictions. Somebody's codependent on your fucking energy, guys. Somebody is very codependent on your damn energy. And this may be, may be very well the person that comes in and want to um, ask you to marry them. They only want to do that because they see your ass taking the fuck off. And I'm just keeping it a band. Make the effort, finance, and career, and keep an open mind. 
See, now somebody wants to come in and offer you them an engagement, but this person has codependent issues. Now they want to make the fucking effort towards you. And you guys are focusing on your um, finances and career. This person wants you to keep an open mind. That's where that mending come in. This is exactly where that mending come in. Somebody wants to mend things with you. For some of you guys, you may take them out. Some of you guys, you won't. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know y'all's story. But now somebody is trying to make the effort. They're trying to get themselves together. But see, y'all busy focusing on y'all finances and y'all career. Y'all going to new homes and new jobs and shit. Y'all ain't studying that. True love. Keep an open mind because true love is on the way with this loving relationship. So do you want the old or do you want the fucking new? The choice is yours, boo. The choice is yours. Somebody's definitely going to come in and flirt with you guys right now. I mean, it's on you guys whether you um do the damn thing. Now that sun is shining so pretty. Hold on. Let me see something. Yeah. You guys can see it. That sun is popping. Yes, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. For real, for real, man. What y'all going to do, gang, gang? What is y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? So somebody, the old is coming in, and then y'all got something new. I told you, Divine Feminine, you got three masculines that is watching you. You're going to have options, Divine Masculine. I mean, Divine Feminine. There's a lot of options. And it did say, it did say Divine Feminine on deck. Divine Feminine going to be popping. Divine Feminine going to be doing her thing. Divine Feminine is bossing the fuck up. Going into her brand new life with peace and loving, with a loving fucking relationship. Because true love is definitely coming. For real. So the choice is yours. The choice is yours. What y'all going to choose? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. What else, Spirit? Can you get my gang gang collective? What else would you like my gang gang collective to know, please? And thank you. This is beautiful, guys. Like, I think I need to end it on that. We got the hermit right here. The hermit. Yeah. You got the hermit. Eight of wheels. It talks about work. The hermit could be somebody just... This is a wise teacher, a wise leader right here. This is somebody with wisdom in the high vibration. Somebody daggone that went in and did the work on themselves and things like that. This is somebody also is just chilling like we are in hermit mode. Working, doing our damn thing. Working in silence. This is also in the low vibration. Somebody ghosting some damn body. Oh, <sighs> shy. manifestations so somebody's in hermit mode with this eight of wheels that talks about work we got the magician right here and we got the two of swords so i don't yeah what hold the fuck up guys let me get something on this what is this hermit spirit what is this hermit Because the hermit in the low vibration, the hermit can also be dark, guys. So I'm trying to see. Hermit, working magician. Two of Swords can be a, de a decision, being at a fucking crossroads as well. Moving forward because there are some fucking secrets. Your ancestors is telling, your ancestors is guiding you, protecting you. There are some secrets, there are some things that you guys don't know about. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. This person does not trust their fucking intuition. Queen of Wands in reverse, guys. And we have the High Priestess in reverse. This is somebody that, um, <clears throat> copycat energy, like I said. Somebody that didn't trust their intuition. Somebody's secrets is coming out as well. So this person was in hermit mode, working, doing magic and shit, trying to block you guys from moving forward. 
And you know, your moon that represents secrets, right? And you got this Queen of Wands right here. Then you got secrets coming out. So the secrets has been exposed. And all this motherfucking magic that this person was doing. Yeah. This person that didn't trust their fucking intuition. So this was a dark this was a dark person that was in hermit mode working. Like hell. Working, working, working. Doing mad fucking magic. To block somebody from moving forward. Yeah. So you know what? Me, I don't even know if I want to tap into this. Just stay, I guess, being once you guys know that this motherfucker in hermit mode working. Like a motherfucker. Let's go. 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 Somebody that's dark. Yeah, this person may unwise choice. This person may want to communicate. That's probably that copycat energy. And it ain't looking good for that person. Walking away. Walking away. Yep. Somebody has walked away from this motherfucking bullshit. Yeah, somebody's walked away to start something new. Somebody's walking away to start something new. So, yeah, this this Queen of Wands. Y'all know the Queen of Wands play with heavy fucking spell work. Y'all know that. So, yeah, but somebody has made the choice to walk the fuck away. This person made an unwise fucking choice. Something that made an unwise choice. An unwise choice. For real, for real. So somebody is walking away from this energy. This motherfucker kept a lot of damn secrets. They was working in fucking secret. Working on somebody's work. This clone the damn child. So this person was working on somebody's work as well. This person was working on somebody's work. Mm-hmm. But somebody ancestor said, come on along, bring your ass on, masculine or feminine. This person could have been working on both of you guys. Masculine or feminine, shall I say. I'm not going to say both of you guys. I'm going to say masculine or feminine. But see, this person was divinely guided right here. That's the missing piece that this person didn't, this damn Queen of Wands didn't know her. She didn't know that this daggone person was intuitive as fuck. She didn't know that. So this person was busy working on your work, y'all. But your ancestors pull you right on, right on up out of it. Right on up out of it. Yeah. I'm walking away, starting something new, learning something new. This is definitely online. Finances and career. Online. So somebody down sure was working like hell on somebody's motherfucking money. They was also working on somebody's work. Mm-hmm. Y'all know the eight. The uh pens these pentacles represents online. So this person was down doing a whole lot of work. Every time y'all your ass. Whatever you was working on online, somebody was working magic on it to keep you stuck. To block you. That's why divine, that's why we got the clock right there. Divine timing. Them ancestors will step the fuck in. Keep vibrating high, bro. This person done walked away. This person made a very unwise choice. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody made an unwise fucking choice. There will be no resolution. This, nah. Nah, it's over for whoever this motherfucking person is right here. Damn, it got dark as hell, didn't it? It's, 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 it's an unwise choice. That's just period. This person did not think about the consequences at all. Karma tearing that ass up now. Oh, well. This person, man, I'm about so sick of this motherfucking energy right here. It don't make no sense. This person made an unwise fucking choice. This person did not trust their intuition and all their fucking secrets and came the fuck out. This person was doing mad motherfucking work on your work. They was trying to stop somebody from fucking healing as well. Queen of Swords Tower. Tuh. 
What else, Spirit? Because this was such a beautiful daggone uh, message. Then this shit had to come out. I guess I just want you guys to know, you know what I'm saying? After dealing with this bullshit right here, motherfuckers working on your work and shit. Y'all about to have new homes and new jobs. A whole new fucking life. And whoever this Queen of Wands was, and that could be any motherfucking body. This person was working on your work. Those of you who work online, this person was busy working on every time you upload a video. If you guys work in the office setting, this bitch was working every time you damn did something on the computer, she was going doing work on your work. Either way it go, this person was sabotaging, sabotaging people's work. Like I said, the pentacles represents the internet. So some of you guys have a lot of um, internet jobs, jobs where you work with computers and things like that. Yes, this person was sabot trying to sabotage you guys. Exactly, but see, they fucked up this karma fucking season. They made an unwise choice. They came up against the wrong motherfucking person. The wrong person. And that's just what it is. This person is, okay, now I see where the codependency is coming in at. This person was very, I don't know what the fuck her problem was, to be honest with you. With y'all, come on, man, what else, spirit? What else you want to tell my collective? Guys, I'm giving y'all every scenario. We we claiming this over here. Like I said, it's karma season. It don't even fucking matter. And all these people that was trying to motherfucking hold you back, especially that Queen of Wands, that motherfucker, it's, 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 a, it's a dub. You guys are still moving forward, having a whole brand new fucking beginning. Keep moving forward, gang, gang. Keep motherfucking moving forward. And the thing about it is, even though these motherfuckers was working, trying to stop you, trying to hinder you, guess what? Y'all still ain't miss a beat. All they did was, while they was doing that motherfucking bullshit, y'all was just chilling, working on yourself, doing y'all work. You see what I'm saying? Y'all knew it was something. Y'all already knew it was something. Y'all knew something was going on. Y'all knew it. Y'all couldn't uh, pinpoint it at first. But your ancestors took you by the hand, just like on Isaiah. This person didn't know you was divinely guided. That's the thing. So all that shit they was doing, all that bullshit they was putting online, trying to sabotage your damn work and shit, that's what that copycat energy is at. I told y'all it was a fucking copycat. I told y'all. Shit, I told y'all, man. Not fucking, I, I, mm -mm. Yeah, it ain't looking good for that motherfucker, so it don't matter. Okay, y'all keep moving forward, babies. Y'all, come on, man, y'all got a brand new life to worry about. We don't worry about these damn people. Just continue to protect your damn energy. Tyler, but continue to um protect your energy and things like that, okay, guys? Tower. Ten of Wands. It's a heavy burden on some motherfucking body. Powerful realization. Something came crumbling down. And it's a heavy burden on somebody. It's also somebody's having a powerful realization. I also see some damn body down. Lord have mercy. This is like somebody... Somebody was not fucking paying attention with this blindfold on and this ten of wands. All this person did was trip they self to fuck up. They tripped they self up. They was blind. Somebody was blind as fuck. Staring at you from motherfucking far. Sending stupid ass messages and shit. That's what this person is trying. This person is trying to decide. If they're going to send a fucking message to you. They probably was messaging you guys. Now they want to communicate with you and shit. Somebody's having a major tower moment. A major tower moment. Also, my fucking secret is. Some of the secrets is this person was trying to set somebody house on fucking fire. That damn queen of wands was trying to call somebody to have... Nothing but heavy burdens in their fucking life as well. 
But see, they didn't do nothing but fuck them. They ain't do nothing but cause towers in their own fucking life. Because y'all ancestors and shit alarmed you guys of what the fuck was going on. This person really thought you was blind that you couldn't see. This person tried to cause all these burdens in your life and they ain't do nothing but fuck they self up. This page of daggone um, wands is usually like a, a good like a good message card. But from the way I see it, I just see this person just staring, just watching you guys. That's what I see. See somebody staring, watching you guys. With this knight of wands, this is somebody that took the wrong fucking action coming towards you. It took the wrong action coming towards you guys. I mean, the secrets is out. So the secrets is, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker was damn sure planning to set somebody on fucking fire. Somebody was trying to cause heavy burdens and shit. This person was definitely watching you online from a fucking distance. They definitely was watching you from a distance and they, they still are. But they took the wrong fucking action coming, coming for you. They took the wrong fucking action with they non-committal ass. This person probably even said that you was a fucking hoe and didn't even fucking know you. You know what I'm saying? This person probably didn't even fucking know you, bruh. Probably spread a whole lot of lies. Yeah, that cycle fucking closed, my nigga. That shit is fucking over. That shit is over. You see what I'm saying? This person probably slandered your fucking name. This person, I told y'all, I was picking it up. Motherfucker trying to set some, blow somebody house up. Set somebody house on fucking fire. Trying to cause people all these motherfucking burdens and shit. And this person was damn watching from a distance. This person was probably lying. Saying that your ass was non-committal and shit. That's another thing. But all the day, all it did was expose who the fuck they were. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, man, listen. Y'all moving forward successfully. Y'all ain't thinking about no fucking body. Y'all going into y'all in the whole brand new motherfucking world. I guess they wanted y'all to, just a reminder, of course, and to let that person know that steady spying on you, you know what I'm saying, via online. This person probably want to send you a motherfucking message while you bullshitting. Don't accept no motherfucking calls from none of them motherfuckers. No, no cards from no damn body. No low vibrational ass person. You guys do got an offer coming in. There's definitely an offer coming in. <clears throat> trust your intuition, guys. Somebody's starting to trust their intuition. This is somebody that may communicate immaturely. This person is two of cups again. And two of cups can be a soulmate. It can be daggone... Um, it can be a family member, a fake-ass friend. You know what I'm saying? It does not have to be a lover. It does not have to be a lover, guys. Just to let you guys know that. You guys, of course, are the queen of pentacles. You guys are in your strength and your damn power. Somebody is a little nervous and scared on how to come to you and communicate with you guys. You got a younger water sign and a older fire sign. Like a younger and a mid. This could be a child, though. I mean, if it ain't a child, this motherfucker child is just fuck one. Child. Whatever. They see you in your strength and in your power, like I said. You guys just keep being your loving, caring self. Just be your keep being your loving, caring self. Trusting your intuition, standing in your strength and power. But you guys definitely, um, there is a soulmate that's definitely coming in, guys. But all that shit, a motherfucker's trying to stop you and shit. All of that bullshit, that shit is fucking over, guys. You know what I'm saying? I guess your ancestor spirit, as well as these angels, want you guys to know. They already told you you're moving forward successfully. Yeah, somebody holding back. This is Dag. I'm talking about equal give and take right here. Protect y'all energy, guys. Protect your energy. Definitely protect your energy. Some of you guys, somebody's um 
somebody taking that they hold they held back from you as well. As well as breadcrumb you not giving you your fucking work. Somebody do realize that. And this person with that copycat energy, this person regrets copying you too. Trying to be you, trying to compete against you. Because there was no fucking comparison. You are you. I keep I said that in the last fucking reading. Can't no fucking body be fucking you. Can't nobody be you. That's just it. But anyways, let me see what else, guys. And I'm going to let you guys go. Because this is beautiful right here. All this other shit. I guess they want you guys to know you're going into a brand new life now. You know? You're going into a totally brand new fucking life. And that motherfucking bullshit. Them motherfuckers is going through, going through motherfucking karma. They having tower moment after tower moment. This person was trying to do all this shit to you. All it did was reverse back to their ass because you guys was divinely guided to do what it is that you were supposed to do. And y'all know who I'm talking to. The ones that's on the up and up that's doing your motherfucking thing. King of Pentacles, invest. King of Pentacles. I mean, King of uh, Wands, bad investment, bad investment. Bad investment. This is beautiful, guys. So, I don't even know what the name is. Paradise. Paradise is on, guys. Y'all know that her and young um, blue. Paradise is on right now. That's what I might name this. Paradise. Because it's so fucking beautiful, guys. So beautiful. But I don't want them dark ass messages. Secrets and came out. Everything I've been exposed about all these motherfuckers spying on you. On fucking line and shit. Damn, trying to block your damn work, causing car accidents, trying to set your damn house on fire and shit. Look at my damn nose. Oh, God, ancestors, please. Ooh. The chariot talks about moving forward successfully. The world, it talks about closing out cycles, but this is what I see. You guys are about to receive a message. You guys are about, man, y'all motherfucking whole world is about to fucking change. It's about to be so beautiful. Brand new homes, brand new jobs, brand new cars. Traveling the world. Mm, this is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful, man. Y'all, man, y'all probably about to move. Oh, uh, I mean, across other uh, damn, y'all could possibly move over them seas some damn well. But see, you don't get this chariot. You don't get this chariot. Wait a minute. Chariot. Hold on, guys. World news, internet message. Police. Internet. Message. This can also be the police after somebody too. Some shit that um, it's gonna just. Hold on, let me get some more. Cause what I I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I see intuitively. Um, for one story, I do see um, I see a damn officer right here. Internet, the world. Hmm. Something was being traced over the internet. The police was tracing somebody. If there was any fucked up ass messages sent to you guys, somebody, the police got some messages. If there was some messages that was received from, from, like, from, um, California to overseas or something like that. There's receipts. There are messages. Somebody got him to fuck up. If somebody was sending you guys bad messages and things like that, the police seen it. Yep. The police seen the motherfucking internet shit. This is internet, guys. This can be the internet, too. The police seen if some damn messages were 
was sent over the internet. The police got that shit. Sure do. Somebody is definitely coming towards you guys. They think the world of you. They are watching you from across the world. I'm going to say from across the damn room. But hell, they might be across the room from your ass shit. I don't know. This is usually good news as well, guys. So, I see three people right here. Dark and light. Dark and light. Somebody that was unstable. That was doing some old bullshit. The police got a whiff of that shit. This is definitely some message that was sent via the internet. <sighs> Just know the police, the police got it. So if you guys, all that shit that was going on over the internet, y'all remember I told y'all. Um, remember I told you if you had a dag on job where you work on the internet, and you remember I told you people. Um, that, that message came out that motherfuckers was doing magic on your channel and shit like that. I don't know. I guess it was somebody's channel. Definitely, I know motherfuckers damn sure was doing work on my motherfucking channel. There was a couple of motherfuckers. They was all together in the fucking pack. It was teamwork. It was teamwork. Believe it. Shit. I ain't got no damn reason to fucking lie, but the police seen that shit. The police, the police watches the fucking internet, whether motherfuckers know it or not. And every motherfucking message that them being sent, the police see it. Everything that's done on the internet, the police see it. And yeah, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Just by these three motherfucking cars, somebody tried to send you a motherfucking message. Some unstable ass motherfucker tried to send your motherfucking message over the internet. It didn't reach you guys at all. Something got intercepted some damn where. It got intercepted somewhere, but the police seen it. So if somebody was doing threats, doing magic, please see that shit. And it's definitely internet and messages. It's definitely the goddamn police right now. Damn feds. They seen that shit. They watch everything that go on on the, the internet. Now, I get... This is what I do want to say. Those of you who send me messages and you erase it so nobody else can see it, cool. Because you guys are doing it just for my eyes only. I get it. But I'm talking about the motherfuckers that was damn feeling foolish as hell right now. That was trying to one-up you. That's what I'm talking about. Them people. Them people that wanted, that was so fucking jealous and envious of you. They feel foolish as hell now. Because you can best believe. So those of you, y'all know who I'm talking, talking to. There's a couple of you guys that send me messages. But y'all go ahead and race it. But y'all know I'm the only one that can see it. But you guys are, you know, y'all just don't want people to see y'all comments. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about them motherfucking jealous, envious motherfuckers. They feel like a goddamn fool now. Because y'all still moving forward. Y'all still moving fucking forward. Believe it. Because the cycle had been fucking closed out. But they steady want to keep fucking with you. You see what I'm saying? They want to keep fucking with you and fucking with you. They feel foolish as hell now. All these motherfuckers that try to come up against you, yeah, they ain't motherfucking defeat now. You can believe it. Y'all, it, it was just a whole lot of envious, jealous motherfuckers. There was a lot of people that was jealous of you. They was very jealous of you. And it's like, for what? Some of y'all probably didn't even know these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That was doing this fucking bullshit. They was just jealous because you fucking ascended. They didn't want you to ascend. They thought they was the motherfucking shit. Thought they was going to control your motherfucking world. Control which way you motherfucking go. Because also, I see a car. And somebody was planning. 
and somebody was um if somebody had any damn car wrecks there's messages about that if anybody was doing magic to cause any car wrecks as well that's them so please got that sure do these people feel foolish to tell they're trying to come up against you and from my understanding, some of y'all don't even know the damn people. That's what's so fucking crazy. These people were so envious and jealous of you. They were so jealous. So fucking envious and jealous of you. There's receipts. Please got it. All these motherfuckers that were so fucking envious and fucking jealous. What was they jealous of? Your strength, your beauty, and your motherfucking power. That's what they was jealous of. What's this down? What else, bitch? This envious and jealous motherfuckers. These receipts. These messages that the police found. What else about these messages that the police found? Online. You guys starting something motherfucking new. Somebody starting something new on a CSC. Because you was in your strength and your power and that you are fucking beautiful. That's what they was fucking mad at. Because you was beautiful. Because you was confident. Because you was in your strength and your power. Because you did the fucking healing work on your fucking self. But see, they moved too motherfucking quick. They sure did. They had damn put shit up there and motherfucking erase it. But they don't realize the motherfucking police can see all that. Damn dumbest. They feel like a goddamn fool now. Jealous of you because you're beautiful. Because you're powerful. Because you have strength. You guys had to go through a lot. For this card to come out, you had to go through a motherfucking lot. For this card to come out. Just like it take a lot of shit. You take a lot of shit. Go through a lot of shit. To become a motherfucking empress. You don't just wake up. And be like, oh, I'm a divine feminine. No, the fuck not. It don't work like that. The divine feminine had to work through all these motherfucking... Had to go through all these damn emotions. All this different motherfucking bullshit. Took a whole lot of motherfucking bullshit. You just don't wake up and be no fucking empress. No. Just like the strength. You endure the fucking lot, a fucking warrior out this bitch, bruh. And motherfuckers seen you on fucking line. They seen that you was good fucking damn news to damn people, that people loved you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, well, I don't like that person because they, they motherfucking, they beautiful. They and they strengthen in they motherfucking power. They daggone closed out motherfucking cycles. They did the healing work on themselves. They are very confident. That's what the fuck, man. These motherfuckers stupid. Stupid. But it was some messages sent that y'all didn't fucking get. But you just best believe the motherfucking officers got it. Them feds, whoever the fuck, they got it. For real. They stupid. Envious of your motherfucking beauty. And your strength and in your fucking power. Because you have the ability to motherfucking endure. And keep on fucking pushing and keep on fucking going. Stupid. These are, these, this is unstable ass motherfuckers. I'm glad they did get fucking caught. I'm glad it is motherfucking receipts. Every state and country that they called from. I'm talking about everywhere they sent it from. Because this is the world. The world consists of every, uh, every motherfucking state, city. It is. So every motherfucking thing, wherever it was motherfucking sent from them, got them feds, got them messages. These motherfuckers made an unwashed choice coming for you, trying to, man, mm, 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 mm. Motherfucking, they got messages of the motherfuckers making deals and shit to take your ass out, to cause you car wrecks, to do work on your motherfucking channel, to do work on you. Yes, they made an unwise choice when they came up against this single person right here. Her ancestors weren't going for that shit. Her ancestors was not going for that shit. You can believe it. And somebody want to communicate and shit. Nah, nah.
Nah. These motherfuckers thought they was doing shit and motherfucking secret and shit. Motherfuckers scared as hell. Mm-mm. And they say communication is the key. Somebody terrified. Somebody's unstable. They know you very fucking intuitive as well. You know, Y'all got the motherfucking ten of pentacles by yourself. You single. Y'all work hard to get y'all ten of pentacles. Y'all put work into y'all damn self. So that's what they was motherfucking mad at. They made an unwise choice. They made a very unwise choice coming for who? This single motherfucking person right here. Sure did. Mm-hmm. They made an unwise fucking choice. For real, because them messages of damn show being motherfucking salt and found and received. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody else picked this shit up. When somebody was trying to communicate, send some old bullshit, and something happened. I don't know if that was the day when the internet was down or what. I don't know what the fuck. I can't remember. Yeah, you guys are damn shit. Doing your damn thing. You guys are protected. Believe it. They came for the wrong they came for the wrong damn person. They came for the wrong person. They, and I do mean they came for the wrong person. Y'all ace of cups. Y'all new beginning. It's motherfucking protected. It's fucking protected. You can believe that. It's being protected. Y'all new motherfucking beginnings and shit like that. That shit is that shit is protected, bro. <clears throat> we got the two of daggone wands. Trying to trying to block somebody's destiny. Trying to block somebody's fucking destiny. Y'all see that? Y'all see that fire back there? They was trying to block somebody's path. They thought they was gonna control somebody's destiny. No. No. Taking action to motherfucking be deceptive as hell. We got the damn Knight of Wands and the Ten of Dagon, um, the Ten of Swords. That's the ultimate betrayal. It's also somebody hurting. It's also a fucking ending. Trying to control somebody's destiny. This damn Knight of Wands taking action to try to put an ending to somebody's shit. That's what they was trying to do. They took the wrong motherfucking action. Trying to block somebody from getting on their motherfucking destined path. Sure did. They broken hearted now, you can believe that. Because justice is being motherfucking served, like the fuck I see it. Now they asses is stuck. And stuck like Chuck. Shit, you guys are damn getting y'all wish fulfillment. You showed sure are. Y'all about to boss up. While they sitting here lonely, stuck. Stuck like hell. Motherfucking getting rejected like a motherfucker. They wanted you guys to be stuck and get rejected. No, mm-mm, not going to happen. Justice is being served. But this is what they wanted y'all to do, get rejected and be motherfucking stuck. They also want you guys to damn um, sacrifice. They was also trying to sacrifice, trying to sacrifice you as well. Whether y'all know it or not, they was trying to sacrifice you. <clears throat> You guys about to boss up. You getting your wish fulfillment. You definitely have healed. You getting your wish fulfillment. You guys are fucking healers. You guys are daggone stars. And your ancestors have been directing you. You are divinely fucking got it. This motherfucker, so I told you they fuck with the wrong damn person. You guys was divinely got You guys are earth angels. All they wanted to do was cause conflict in your fucking life. All this fucking drama. That's why you guys was in hermit mode for protection. You get what I'm saying? Because it was a whole lot of motherfucking bullshit going on. A whole lot of haters. A whole lot of shit thrown your fucking way. 
that try to stop you and block you from getting into your brand new fucking life. Your motherfucking destiny. But you can believe these motherfuckers is getting karma now. These motherfuckers try to sacrifice you. <clears throat> this message is about motherfuckers trying to sacrifice you. Y'all know who the fuck it is. This is not everybody's story. But somebody was trying to block somebody from getting to their fucking destiny. So they took motherfucking action and decided, oh, well, I'm going to take this motherfucker out. I got to put an end into this motherfucker right here. Mm-hmm. Make motherfuckers, everybody around you reject you so you can get sacrificed. That's what they was doing. Whether y'all know it or not. Trying to control your destiny. Because you got good fucking fortune. Somebody was, I don't know if somebody was getting readings or something on you guys. I don't know what the fucking situation was. I guess it was just a simple fact that, hey, yo, you guys was happy to say, I don't know what the fuck the situation is. All I know is these motherfuckers know you was destined. Maybe, oh, they was listening to readings. My bad. They was listening to readings and knew that divine, that this definitely is a divine feminine story. I don't give two fucks. This is a, a divine feminine story. They knew the divine feminine was getting this ten of damn pentacles. They knew that, so they decided, oh, well, we're just going to block her. We're going to block her from getting to her damn destiny. Block her from her divine purpose. Made people reject her so we can sacrifice her and take her ass out. These people are fucking very unstable. All of these motherfuckers is unfucking stable. They took the wrong action against the wrong person. Now they asses is heart fucking broken. Because all that shit that they sent backfired and they getting fucking karma. Because justice is damn sure being served. You can believe it. You guys are about to fucking boss up like I said. You guys are getting your wish fulfillment. You guys are fucking healers. You guys are stars. It is written in the stars for you to be fucking stars. Your ancestors will tell you that. You've been guided the whole entire time. The whole entire time. Earth angel. And the other day, it's the earth angel. The temperance is the earth angel. <clears throat> you guys been protected the whole fucking time. But see, these motherfucking jackasses thought they just was going to do A, B, C, and D to you because of who you are, Divine Feminine. And believe me, I motherfucking know because this was my motherfucking story too. So I motherfucking know. That's how I fucking know. And um, y'all know, y'all trust y'all intuition. Y'all know this was y'all story. And this what motherfuckers was doing to you. Motherfuckers was getting readings and shit. Y'all was protected the whole time. Protected. Your ancestors had you protected all day, every day, as well as the divine. They fucked up. Trying to stop you from your destiny. Trying to stop you from getting this new motherfucking beginning. That's what they was fucking doing, stupid ass. It's online. All that shit is on fucking line. Every motherfucking message, every plan, every plot, every plan, every plot that they decide to take your ass out, to block you, to stop you, to do motherfucking magic on your fucking channel, to do magic on your fucking work. Yes, that's what the fuck they was fucking doing. And that shit is damn sure. What? Yeah. They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. Why? Because you having this abundant new beginning. Still. This is from the divine. They thought they was going to take that. No. No. And you was a gift to the fucking world. I keep telling somebody that. I keep telling somebody that. They found out that you was a gift to the motherfucking world. Damn dumbest. This person is. Un These people are unfucking stable. What in your right mind? You just envious and jealous of some motherfucking body. So you decide to start doing motherfucking work on some damn body. Child, please. This is what you call unstable, but karma is here for that ass. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I claim this. I deserve this. I work hard for this shit. I went through too motherfucking much. Okay. Okay, let me read these real quick. 
Prayer Watchman Cups. <sighs> Healing. Work. Put an ending to that work. I was told to put an ending to that work. I was told to put an ending to it. Put it to rest. Ending. I was trying to put an ending to your work. Mm-hmm. Dag um this Queen of Pentacles, this King of this King of uh, Wands and King of Swords, divinely guided towards their fucking destiny and their purpose. Marriage, commitment right here. You see what I'm saying? They got that message. They was told to put an ending to do a motherfucking work. They was told to put an ending to it. You was the violent fucking got it. To go towards your destined motherfucking path and commit. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys have received downloads about this. Spirit said, uh-uh. You messing with you messing with my folks now. Your ancestors and the divine was not playing this. They was told to put an end to that shit. But did they? Mm-hmm. Did they? Nope. Sure didn't. When they get motherfucking farmer, you can believe that. Back like on Queen of Swords. Person was motherfucking just. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with him. Something. It's wrong with my grandbaby. He wants to go back on I don't know. I'll check on him in a minute. Let me know what you guys. Yeah. This motherfucking is unstable. It's fuck. This person didn't want to walk the fuck away. Whoever this queen of swords was, she didn't want to walk away. This person did not want to walk away. Let me make sure, guys, why. Yeah, I see. Drama. She did not want to fucking walk away. This, this did not. She just was determined to cause drama. Between two people getting the fucking together. She was very codependent, whoever she is. She wanted to cause drama because you had an offer coming. Now she's in. She's motherfucking... She's damn heartbroken now. She's heartbroken. She wanted to cause so much motherfucking drama because she knew that there was an offer coming. She knew that somebody wanted to make an offer. This person is unstable. They cause all types of, trying to cause all types of illusions and shit. They made a decision that they was not going to walk away, that they was going to keep on motherfucking causing drama. Yep. Yeah. But this person wanted the motherfucking offer. The offer was not for her. The spirit said, and that's the motherfucking truth. This person was told to walk walk away. She didn't want to. She wanted to cause so much motherfucking drama. She knew it was an offer fucking coming for two people. To come to fucking together. Two people that was violently guided. And this person caused so many motherfucking problems. Tried to cause so many illusions. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys have probably intuitively had received those daggone downloads. If you did, then yeah, you know this is your story. If you didn't, then this is not your story. But yeah, this person did not want to walk away. She was determined to continue to cause chaos and conflict. This person is heartbroken now. And Spirit said, and that's the motherfucking truth. That's the fucking truth. Trying to stop two people from coming together. That was divinely guided. That was destined to be the fucking gather. So you see, this is just that was she was told to put that put an end to it. They didn't, but justice is gonna be served. But this damn Queen of Wands is taking action, doing her motherfucking thing, that's standing in her strength and in her fucking power. That's going to her new life. 
And we know all this shit happened in the fucking past, but they just letting you guys know, you know what I'm saying, what the deal was, for real, for real. The backstory, the whole law, just in case you guys didn't know. Whoever this message is resonating with, whoever understands, whoever know, whoever received them downloads, because it was a message. This person, this person, this person got the message to chill the fuck out. This person refuses, refused to walk the fuck away. That's just period. But the divine feminine is going into a whole new different path, a whole new different light. Because ain't nobody got time for that drama. A lot of films, they are not taking their masculines back. That twin flame journey, everybody want to be on that twin flame journey is not what the fuck it cracked up to be. It is a horrible ass motherfucking journey. And I be sitting there like, damn, I signed up for this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's about you finding who the fuck you are. It ain't about you being with some damn body. It ain't about you being with your motherfucking twin. No. No. It's about you guys learning fucking lessons. And until this person get themselves together, there won't ever be a fucking union. So the divine feminine is going into a whole new life, a whole new fucking path. Cutting those ties with the daggone masculine. Because he want to stay attached to low vibrational energies. That's what caused all this bullshit. The divine masculine strain. You know what I'm saying? He refuses to heal those childhood wounds. He refused to heal childhood wounds, so he stayed around all these low vibrational people and did every motherfucking thing under the sun. Even down to trying to sacrifice the divine feminine for some fucking money. For a material life. So no. Most of us divine feminists, we are gone. We are not doing it. Not doing it. Period. We're going in a whole new direction, whole new life. And this is our fucking justice for all the motherfucking bullshit that we had to fucking endure. And like I said, this is not everybody's story. This is very specific. You will know if this is your story or not. But no, there will not be a reunion. The Divine Feminine has a whole new soulmate waiting for her. Whole new direction, a whole new fucking life. That's just period. It is what it is. All right, guys. I got to go check on my grandson. Because he is in here just hollering at the top of his lungs. I don't know what the hell. Damn, that teething medicine. I wonder did she bring that. All right, let me go to the store and buy my baby some teething medicine, guys. I love you guys. Y'all know who this is. This is beautiful. Shout out to my grandbaby for picking these cars out, bro. For real, for real. Peace, guys. Be safe. I love you. I'm out, shorty.